Welcome back everybody to the channel, my name is Jim, and we're going to be checking out this little title called Cozy Grove. Uh, we were lucky enough to receive a key to check this game out, and I just wanted to do sort of a first looks and impressions. I've been informed that this game is best played for about half an hour a day, uh, and to give it about a week to settle into it, but we're going to do a first looks to see if, would, would this be a game that we're going to turn on every day? Let's definitely check it out, it's been, it's been compared to, uh... Uh, Animal Crossing in a, in a way I'm not really sure in what ways uh, But it this game looks adorable and I really wanted to check it out and I'm happy to be checking it out with all of you It's good to kind of do these first looks again. It's been a while since we've done these My cats are getting cozy and meowing Reasons would go over time if you can't find more fish or etc. Come back in our time Chain laps together in order to spread color to new areas. Oh, this looks super cute! Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo trip, fix yourself up. Uh, when a Spirit Scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've lived within. Okay, cool. They look adorable! Look at these different haircuts. There's emo hair, yes! Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note the previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Oh, so we might just be devoured by a bear. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scott. Motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. All right, so. First things first, let's just take a look at this. Let's just, a, let's just take a look at this cute little freaking game. It does. It runs in real time. That's okay. That's where it's been comparison. So we got a backpack. A quest log. Okay. So this game runs in real time. That's what they meant. Oh, wow. Stand near the embers and press X. Calf. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Ooh. Some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed in my embers. I sense dozens of wounded restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah oh, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Uh, I think we're very ready. That's the spirit. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Oh no, it's raining. Okay. So there's like, there's spirits. <gasps> Ooh, spooky. Wow. Okay, that's adorable. Huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little too strong this morning. Unless, say you're not a real living person, are you? I am. Well, I haven't heard the news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. See the uniform ears, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. But I'm trying to fix all your ghostly woes. Yep, that sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. All the way, way back then. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling in the past, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. 
You're finding steam the night. Remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay, so we need to drop spirit wood into the fire. Okay. Oh, you can skip along. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is, that is adorable. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Here's a log for you. Oh, wow. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Uh, from a bear in a ranger suit. The bear in the ranger suit, I see. First of all, thank you, it's delicious. The prison spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting cozy grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood is fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. See, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. Healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. I mean, so set the, uh, set the island on fire. Whoa! Everything changed. What? There's money. I'm rich. What did I do? I was just thinking. Remember your work ethic, Scout, scurrying about being helpful. Just remember to take a break every once in a while. Have a cup. Scout over the water. Hey, this is. This is fantastic. Another spirit. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. That's very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you though, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as a ghost go. Bring me three branches, okay? Promise I'll make it worth your while. Ah. Uh. Are we sure? We're sure we want to accept this offer of grabbing branches? Okay, so what are my thoughts so far? Uh this this game is adorable. This art style is fantastic. Um it, it's it's very cute. As far as haunted islands go, it's very adorable. The uh, skipping along action is is the best sprinting mechanic ever in video game history. It's great. It's a, it's such a change of pace from what I've been playing lately. Look at these sticks. What beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila! Your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lath. But if you want to go dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. We'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. Ooh. What are those? Okay. Uh, the, these guys are just chilling. They're not hurting anybody, are they? Certainly hope not. Talk to you? Let's dig up the ground. What do we find? Ooh.
Here's a log for you. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. Oh wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. As he has arrived, something else has vanished, something important. Oh dear. Let's go see her for yourself. That's all good. I mean, praise to the shop. Oh, we got a trophy. I am playing this on the PlayStation. I'm actually running on my PlayStation 5. Uh, just so, uh, you know. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Well, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit, but how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch is, I set the prices. How can I help you today? Take a look at the shiny new stuff. Ooh, I can buy a fishing rod! Bought a fishing rod. Awesome. This is, this is, this is great. This is actually fantastic. Now, can I? That's going to say go with a, a turn, turn imp. I consider that to be root. common food root. Now, can I? Hmm, I wonder what I do with it. I'm back to talk to you. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on an island simply by exploring with a keen eye, but other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles laying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. You want us to go digging in leaves, do you? I have more money. Yeah, so it, it seems to be set up. Oh, oh. Okay. Because, yeah, I, I don't see us having anything else. Okay. So you, you want me to find a book. Um... I don't know with the food if we're supposed to... This game? Whoa, there's like a desert. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Captain Bill Weather Snow. In life I was a bear on the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly. Twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. I love the, the little images there, the little uh, drawings. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weathersnout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. To meet you. I don't know as we reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. It's a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves are precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. We found a fishing rod, see? Ha ha! Hi, sailor, that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're gonna have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Interest, interesting, the seagull bear, I love. Uh, okay, well, I mean... We can try? No, I, de I definitely want to... Um... 
Hey. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So there's, there's, okay, so, so it kind of works like Animal Crossing. There's a fish there. The fishing is just like Animal Crossing. <laughs> Collapsed lungfish. I, I just, I have difficulty with the fishing style. It, it's my own fault. It's just the way my instincts are. See if I've already begun testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Hey, a fine fin you managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think you and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your uh, boat's washed out to sea. My boat did what? Oh yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself, the silence, a male storm of ill fortunes, turned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans ye had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight projects anymore. Where are your neighbors? Squawk! Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> He's like, oh, you really, you really thought one night was all it would take? Fool. Now we, at least we have in there spirit logs, so. Delicious. That's strange, I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sent someone as a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Oh, put my stuff in storage. Four spaces free. Check out clothing collection. 99 spots free. Upgrade my tent. Okay. So there's like, like cute little clothes and stuff. Okay, so I think we need to look for more... More leaf piles. Yes, sir. Yes, hello. Tails is Tails is like, can I come hang out with all the bears? It's like a pretty nice place to chill. I'm assuming that's what my cat said. Okay. He, he's a very talkative boy. He's adorable. Oh. But an actual log. Oh, and there's another pile of leaves there. Yeah, for, first impressions. Just this this game is adorable. So this is this is very uh, like mission based. It looks like each of the bears has uh, kind of like a friendship system. Uh, so as time goes on and you do more quests for them, they end up happier. There's a leaf pile there. I'm not finding that book though, eh? No one else to find that book. The the size of the island's not too overwhelming or anything. I, I thought I thought it was going to be at first, but Oh, there's a pile there. I think I was used to it. There we go, there's the book! The wilderness guide. See we did it. Out of us. That's it, why it's an old spirit scout wilderness guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of the book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to take a look at the collection now? Yeah, show me my sweet relationship progress. 
that's spirit. Here it is. And so we have a breakdown of uh, of this. Okay, so there's one of two spirits there. Two of six. Forest. Cool. Nice. And we got a log, so we can go help our little fire bunny. Beautiful. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. You may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further. Illuminates lost corners of time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Oh, we've got another area to go. So we'll trot over here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wait, do you have an mission for us? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. They look like a charm of a young placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. You want a bird charm? I want to buy something. Okay, happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food. Then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes and increase your harvest. Interesting. But give it to me anyway. Okay. Berries, store, upgrade, catalog. Alright, so that's gonna be... Ooh. Okay. <gasps> Is there a spirit here? I can kind of see where, where things are going here. Patrice Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag. Oh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 Sharp. I relayed those deliveries to a list of residents. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up whenever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Look near a blacksmith forge. Okay. Oh, is it going to direct me where to go? Oh, our other friend's going to have an request as well. Hey there, Maker Buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. What? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Okay. Nice. All right. So that's like a, just a way to like upgrade the systems and stuff. So. Blacksmith Forge. Damn. Gotta find that. There's definitely like a like a cooking area. Since we're getting kind of more and more side quests as we go, the more we do, the more there is. It makes sense. Oh, and our friend uh, over here has another one. Chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Okay, and you want feathers. Nice. That's pretty cool. Okay, so like... They have quests as we go on that helps us upgrade stuff. I I can see where people were comparing, like, or comparing words are difficult. People were comparing uh, a Animal Crossing somewhat to this game. I can understand that. Um, 
I, I can understand why now. Oh, we found the package. Um, but also, it, it has its own identity. I think it's cool it runs in real time, and it's the same kind of thing where, you know, you play it for X amount of time per day, which is good because then, you know, you, you don't binge it too much kind of thing. Did you feel it, the rush of finding a package, the thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me be straight with you. I love this job, but I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. Postal helper, how exciting. Oh yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame, they might rattle or whisper. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, will you just send that puppy my way? All right. <laughs> because one way or another, the thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Do I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. I uh, hope you're settling in your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened. You can't find any ghosts immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. If you finally find a ghost, try and make peace with the situation. Yes, yeah, so I'll try to write to you every day unless I get busy. Oh, okay, cool. There's like a present from that. Neat. Um. This is a view myself. Okay, all right. Perfect. And we got another log. See, we're getting it. We're getting it all. Ooh, now this area is lighting up as well. Okay, all right. I didn't. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Well, the art style is incredible. Um, honestly, it's just it's just fantastic. A cute end table. Yo, excuse me. This is adorable. That's quite a lot of materials you got there. I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is you gonna make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass the skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here are some recipes to get you started. Ooh, just select one and learn recipe. You can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Great, let me show you how to my workshop. Okay. This is this is cool. Alright, so we can actually Huh. I wanna craft a chair. Crafted! Nice. Wow, so I just got a lot of stuff. Maybe the reason I'm drawn here to making jokes is so much to call what I love, crafting. You come up with a material, then you have to workshop it. And if you did it right, you nailed it. Seems like I can never quite get the last part down though, sigh. Why do I even try? Ooh, okay. Is it a sky like that? It's literally glowing. It's cool that they told us the sunlight is just radiation. Now I get worried every time I see an extra pretty sunset. And so I, I'm just I'm just curious here. Um Common log cabin accessorized end table. Ooh, it's cute. Okay, cool. So we can actually decorate too. That's pretty great. Here's a log for you. Delicious. Lay four more logs before I'm full. Sense a log in your bag. Yum! 
A few more logs before I'm full. I sense someone eager to give you a log if you can help them. That's awesome. <laughs> well, as the cats are playing and uh, it's now, yeah, it's been half an hour. Uh, I can't believe it's already been half an hour checking out this game. Uh, I'm not really sure how much more before you're kind of locked in on the first day, but I will stop this here uh, and let me know what you think. So far, my opinions are this game is adorable. I love the music, the atmosphere, the aesthetic, just everything about it seems really fantastic. Um, and I, I really want to check more of it out. So let me know if you want to see more of this. I could work this into um, working a playthrough. I wanted to do a first looks to just see and give my initial thoughts on the game. And yeah, I honestly love to continue playing this. So let me know. Thank you, everybody, for checking it out. And I will see all of you in the next video.